Hey y'all, welcome back to our channel. Well, I've got a goodie we're gonna try today. We are going to try to make cinnamon rolls using canned biscuits. Yes, you can. We saw a video and David seems to like the idea. Now, I always make our cinnamon rolls from scratch. I just like to do things the old fashioned way. I have a recipe that I go by and <clears throat> I always make our cinnamon rolls from the scratch. I get from scratch, I get my big um, KitchenAid mixer out, all the ingredients and stuff, and I just go to town, knead the dough, roll it out, all this good stuff. I just like making my cinnamon rolls from scratch. And I can substitute different flours and make them healthier and all such as that. But we were just sitting the other night and we were thinking of some ideas and David said, hey, you know, I saw this one time on YouTube. I think you can make cinnamon rolls from biscuits. So we found it and we're going to try it today. This is the first time I've ever, I've ever done it, so I'm going to take y'all along with me. So um, what you do is you take a can of biscuits. Y'all, this thing right here is just like a jack-in-the-box to kids. Hold on. Y'all ready? Okay, that wasn't so bad. All right, I'm going to open up these biscuits. I'm going to turn y'all to where y'all can see what I'm doing. So give me just a second, because I want you to see. Yeah, my hands are sticky now. So this is what we're gonna do. Let me turn y'all down right here, if I don't knock my camera over. Let me see if I can turn y'all down where y'all can see what I'm doing. Uh, let's see, is that better? Let me get it down just a little more. I think that's good as long as I keep in range. All right, let's do this. So, I'm gonna, uh oh, I forgot to flour in my thing. We're gonna take a little bit of flour and just spread on our board because these are sticky. So I don't want them sticking to the thing. I've already got my oven preheating and I've already got me a casserole dish up here greased and ready to lay these in when I get done. So we're gonna get a little flour on these. Y'all remember, this is the first time I'm making these. I've never done it with canned biscuits before, but we're gonna learn today. And we'll see how they turn out. All right, now, she didn't have a rolling pan here, so I'm gonna have to improvise. Just find you something. I found this in the cabinet. I can't get the little thing on there, though. It's not fitting, I guess it's shrunk. So, find you something to use as a rolling pan. I don't care if it's a glass, a long glass or something, something that you can use that's just shaped like this, like a cylinder. So what you're supposed to do is, there's two ways you can do this. I'm gonna do it the first way that we saw to do it, and I kinda like it better because I like my filling all on the inside and I like to roll it up. Another lady just took the biscuits like this and she poured like butter and your brown sugar and the cinnamon just on top. To me, I, by the time this rises and gets fat, you're not gonna have the, the filling all the way through the biscuit. You're just probably gonna get it on the top. So we're gonna do it this other way and we're going to do this. You take each biscuit, you roll them out first, make them flat like you were rolling dough, your dough. And we're gonna do all eight biscuits this way. So there's one, put it over to the side, get your next one. This is gonna take me a little few minutes, y'all. So y'all just hang in there with me. I still have to learn how to edit videos. So I can't speed this one up or slow it down in slow motion. So y'all just bear with me. Ouch. It's kind of hard holding on to this. And if you got a rolling pin or a dowel, um, long glass, anything, just find you something to work with. All right, let's see. Woo. Ow. There's two. It takes a little bit to get these rolled out. There's three, and a little more flour. I think these are gonna turn out good because mm, when she took hers out of the oven and we saw them, 
Oh, I know what I can tell you to do. I've already got my cream cheese um, topping made. I use a cream cheese topping. We can't do the powdered sugar stuff. Mm -mm, too much sugar, not healthy. So I made my own with using a cream cheese topping. I got it all mixed up already. I took a half, since this is just eight little biscuits uh, and I'm not making a big old batch, I just took a half a block of cream cheese and some stevia. You can use granulated sugar if you want to. We can't. So I did stevia and some vanilla flavoring and you'll need some kind of like milk or cream or heavy cream. Uh, I even cheated y'all just to give it a little extra flavor and I used a little bit of our hazelnut coffee creamer and just uh, just a splash of it, just enough to give it some wetness because you want it to, to be spreadable when you put it on these when they come out of the oven. And then um, a little wet, you know, some you might want it a little pourable so to where you can just pour it on them. So I've already got my mixture up. It's, let me spill it. It's in here, cream cheese. I may put a little more milk in there to make it a little more pourable. I don't like a dry cinnamon roll. But like I said, I like the filling all on the inside to where when you bite into it, you get a little taste of that brown sugar and cinnamon. Now, a lot of people use granulated sugar, white granulated sugar it for their filling along with the cinnamon. Like I said, we can't do that, so I'm having to improvise when I'm making substitutes. So I did brown sugar and cinnamon. I got my butter at room temperature. Don't try to use cold butter spreading on these biscuits because uh -uh, it's gonna tear up your biscuits. All right, there's two, I only got three more, I lost count. There's five. I wasn't good at math, y'all, in school. I mean, I know the basics, yeah, but. Mm. All right, let's see. We got this one. I'm going to try to hurry up on these. Now, after you get done rolling all these biscuits out, that's another little trick. You're going to piece these together. And don't worry about these being so flat that they won't rise because these will rise. These are the flaky layer biscuits. So these will rise. They're probably not going to get as fluffy and, and big as homemade with the yeast in them. But we're just, like I said, we're just going to try these and just see. Got one more, y'all. Thank y'all for hanging in there with me. We're going to get this done here in a minute. I think... She didn't say what temperature to put these on. I'm assuming maybe 400. What's the package say? I'll tell you what, we'll read that right quick. <laughs> uh, I think it's 400. Oh, 325. I'll cut it down. Oh. Or else I'm going to have burnt cinnamon rolls. Okay. Now... You still want to, since I'm going to do this like a homemade, I have still got to piece this together in a rectangle, okay? So four on the bottom, four on the top, make them even. So we're gonna try to pinch these seams together and make a rectangle. Y'all, this ain't so hard. That's going pretty fast. Let me turn that oven down right quick so it can be cooling down now. Okay. Here we go. Pinch your seams together. Make them flat. All right, here we go. Oh, y'all, this is turning out to be so easy. Four on the bottom. Now put your other four. Can y'all see that? Ouch. Put your other four. Let me get this where y'all can see. So we got two, three, four. All right, pinch these together. Make a rectangle. I may make this bigger and stretch it out some. I'll keep rolling it out. Put your little, like right there, pinch those little holes together. Here we 
we go. Paint some little holes together, spread these out, spread that out up there. And this will come together as you roll it, I mean, as you roll it out. Let's see, let's move these down some so I can make room for this one. All right, let's see if we can do this now. Let me get a little more of these in there. Some of these I've got spread out more than others. Let's work with this here just a minute. Like I said, we're gonna learn together. So, if I work out all the kinks, then y'all will know what to do. <laughs> Come on, pinch together. I will work on that as I roll it up. Pinch these back together. When she did her video, she made it look so simple. We're gonna try, y'all. I'm gonna get some kind of rectangular shape going here. gonna do this by hand. Come on, go together. Close your seams up. Okay, we are somewhat in a rectangular shape. For the sake of y'all not getting bored on me, me trying to figure this out, y'all keep working with it till you get you like a rectangle, okay? A better rectangle than what I've got. Keep working with it. Turn that one up just a little bit. All right, it's still gonna turn out good regardless. All right, now you take your butter. Y'all, you can either do this with your hands as long as you got clean hands. I got clean hands. Or you can take a knife, you can do this. I, this may not. Put your butter on there. Spread it through all, spread it all over the biscuits. Y'all, I like a lot of butter. Mm, I love my butter. <laughs> butter just mm, gives it flavor. I like to put, now you can also do this a different way. You can, I got some more butter around here somewhere, What right there. You can Put all your filling in a bowl, butter, sugar, cinnamon, melt your butter, and then just take a basting brush and put it on there. However, and you don't get enough butter on there for me. I like a little layer. I like a little layer. So, we're going to open up my other thing of butter here. And we're gonna finish putting butter on. Okay. I, don't th I think I missed a little spot right there. We're gonna hit that one again. <laughs> Just cause I don't think it's got enough butter on. There we go, that looks better. Yeah, baby. All right. Keep spreading your butter out. See what I'm saying about you don't want cold butter because it's going to stick to your biscuit. That was a little cold spot right there. I didn't leave it laying out enough. All right, hold on. There's another little cold spot. So we're going to have to be careful. That's cold spot. I don't want it tearing my biscuit up. Come on. Room temperature butter is better. Spread it out. That's going to melt, so. Can y'all see that? Okay. Well, I'm going to spray a little more right here. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Okay. I guess that's enough butter. Jeez. Where's my towel? Oh, I'm wearing it. Okay. Now I'm gonna take my brown sugar and I'm just gonna start spreading it. Whoop, maybe dumping it all on there. Y'all, I like to taste a little bit of sugar. You can take it, you can spread it. Mm 
<laughs> Just keep spreading, y'all. We ain't got to the fun part yet. Oh, you, when it comes time to roll this up and cut it, I usually use dental floss. Y'all just don't know a little trick about dental floss. I use it to slice through my my uh, roll when I get it done. So I'll have to find me a knife here in a minute that she's got in here that won't tear my dough apart. So what I like about floss is it won't tear your dough apart when you're trying to slice it. Just kind of spread it as you go, just kind of even. <laughs> Kind of wanted to make just a little sweet treat tonight. I just can't hardly go without a sweet treat every once in a while. I don't know what it is. I gotta have a little something sweet. I think that's good. And y'all, you can go one step further. You can put up some uh, chopped up pecans in here. I gotta wash my hands. You can put in some uh, chopped up pecans, walnuts, you just anything. Put you put some uh, some kind of peanuts or something in here. Pecans. Where's my cinnamon? There it is. Okay, now you take your cinnamon. That smells good. And you just sprinkle on top. Oh y'all, this time of year you can do anything with cinnamon rolls. If you don't want, if you don't like to taste the cinnamon, y'all, I just had an idea. Substitute pumpkin spice for fall. Do um, nutmeg, uh, allspice. Um, do some different things, y'all. You don't have to use cinnamon to make cinnamon rolls. Okay, this is the fun part. Let's see if I can do this. Just like rolling them at home. You start, you get you a little roll going. This is where piecing it together is gonna have to come in at because um, we got it kind of uneven because I'm working with biscuits instead of regular dough. So we're gonna piece it together as we go. Fold, kind of like fold, tuck, pull, and roll. Does that make sense? Fold, tuck, Pull a little and roll on itself. <laughs> Here we go, y'all. Look at that. We got it going on. Now, some of it's going to fall out, y'all. You can't help that. But all you got to do is take that leftover filling. Yep, got to piece that together. Close your seams up. Take that leftover filling and just throw it on top when you get these biscuits in the pan. In the casserole dish. Yeah, I'm having to piece these together and close up the seams as I go. That's okay. Oh my goodness, y'all. Look. Look at look at look at look at look I'm excited. I smell it. Y'all smell it? Alright, let's see. Now just kind of shape it. Fold your little corners in because you got some filling coming out. Shape it. Get it kind of even. Now, there was eight biscuits. But y'all can make as many cinnamon rolls as you want. Depends on how many times you cut it. Uh, let me see. Let me see if I can find a knife in here. She's got some nice ones. Uh, let's see. I should have had that out to begin with. Ow. That's my knife. Let's see. Let's use this one. Woo! Now I'm famous for cutting myself. So, mm, y'all just look out. Okay, first I'm on half it. I want these even. So I'm gonna cut right through there. Okay, that's a good knife. We're gonna half it again. We're gonna half this one. That my granddaughters are trying to call while I'm cutting up cinnamon roll. I'll call y'all back in a minute. We're just gonna keep halfing till I get the sizes that I want. Mm, let's see. I could have made thirds out of this one. It's okay. All right, now I'm just gonna keep halfing. I'm just gonna keep halfing. Y'all are getting the picture. I'm just gonna make some little ones. Cause if I was home, I'd be making my big ones. All right? Them jumbo size. I got jumbo size boys. So I make the jumbo size cinnamon rolls, but 
But I like the way this knife slices. I'm just gonna keep halfing them. Oh, y'all, I'm gonna get a big pan full. Keep halfing these babies. Um, let's see. I'm just gonna keep an eye on these because, y'all, when I make my cinnamon rolls at home, I just eyeball them till I see that they're getting golden brown. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna take these. I got butter everywhere. Okay, now we're gonna take these and we're gonna put them in. I got this greased, and we're gonna just start putting them in there like this, layering them. Keep your filling inside, keep your keep your thing together. I'm gonna put like four on each row. Let's see how many we can get. Whoop, make sure it stays rolled up. See how, I see that swirl in there, y'all? That's what you want. I didn't wanna just put on top of the, on top of the cinnamon roll. I like every time you take a bite, it's in there. It's swirled in there. I didn't want it just dumped on top of my roll. All right, keep it together as you pick it up. Keep your seams together. Any of this leftover stuff down here, when you get done, pick it up and just dump it on top of your cinnamon roll. Y'all look at this, I'm getting a bunch. Okay, so I got Hey, nine, nine, five, three, four, three, four, fifteen. I got sixteen rolls here, y'all. Is that right? Four. I'm wondering if it's four. Yeah. <laughs> See, I told y'all I wasn't good at math. Look at that. Sixteen rolls. So, whoop. Let's put that one right back together. Lean it up against that one so it won't come apart. Now, I'm gonna stick these in the oven, three hundred and fifty degrees till they get golden brown. And when they come out, I'll let you see what they look like. While the cinnamon rolls are in the oven, take this time to clean up your kitchen. That's my motto in the kitchen. Clean as you go, so that way you don't have a lot to clean up when you're done. See y'all in a minute. I'm going to show y'all a little bit more about how I'm going to get this a little bit creamier while we're waiting on the cinnamon rolls. Y'all, it smells good up in here. I'm going to get my milk back out. I just put it up. I should have left it out. I want it just a little bit. Room temperature cream cheese. You can't hardly stir refrigerator cream cheese, unless you do it in a mixer, and which is what I usually do at home. I'm just gonna keep adding milk until I get this to the consistency that I want without splashing it everywhere. That happens at home too. Like I said, I got sugar in here. I got um, vanilla flavoring. I can't, we can't do the powdered sugar that route. We just can't. So this is like a cream cheese frosting. That's a little better, because this is also going to melt up a little bit when I put them on the hot cinnamon rolls. Smelling good. And just taste test it as you go. Let me see what this tastes like right now. Mm, that's good, just like it is. Ooh, I taste that hazelnut creamer. That's going to be awesome. Y'all, you can use, if you need a sweetener um, instead of sugar, you can use, let's see, you can use honey, you can use maple flavoring. Oh, maple flavor would taste good with, let me get y'all back up here so you can see my face now. You might not want to, but that's okay, I'm going to show it to you anyway. Um, let's see, if you're doing pumpkin spice cinnamon rolls, use maple flavoring. Uh, honey, syrup, they've even got a sugar-free syrup now. Um, try different kind of syrups to sweeten it. Honeys, different kind of imitation uh, flavorings, vanilla, maple, um, cream cheese, healthier option. Mm, stevia, I'm wondering if you could put a little bit of like peanut butter in it. Y'all play with it. That's all you gotta do. I've got it to the consistency that I want. Yeah, and it's gonna melt. You can, I like it like this because I like it kind of thick. If you put it on there and it's pourable, it winds up just seeping and it doesn't stick to the biscuit as good. So I like this, it's not runny, but it's like, like sour cream, it's kind of goopy. Yeah, that tastes good. Uh, sorry, I missed my mouth. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna take y'all over here and see what they look like. We're gonna take a sneak peek. 
So let's see. If I don't drop my phone in the oven. <laughs> Look, y'all. Oh, y'all can't see them. Look at that. They're rising. That looks very good. Oh, y'all, it's smelling good. I gotta close this up. I'm going to actually bump it up just a tad. Don't let me forget them are in there, y'all. Because a lot of times when I get to cooking, I get to doing other things and I get distracted. Yeah, we eat burnt meals a lot sometimes, but nobody complains. Oh yeah, I'm, while we're waiting, I'm gonna tell y'all this little story. I'll tell y'all what that sweet man of mine said the other night. <clears throat> this is just the extra while we're waiting. So I'm gonna tell y'all. <clears throat> Every man gets asked that dreaded question. Do you have any regrets marrying me? Okay. So, I was just like, gonna see how this went the other night. So, I mean, it's been 30 years, y'all. We've known each other 31. So, I asked him. And I was like, if you knew then what you know now about me, would you still have married me? Of course, I'm anticipating the answer. You know, I'm expecting, <laughs> you know, okay. I was expecting the worst. Y'all, that sweet man of mine, he said, I would've married you after the first date. Isn't that sweet, y'all? He's so, oh yeah. See, he's a keeper. He's a keeper, I'm telling you. So, yeah. He got brownie points. <laughs> I'm gonna let these finish baking and I'll be right back, y'all, to put this icing on here while they're hot and gooey. I'm gonna show y'all a little bit of progress again. Look. They're getting bigger. They're getting browner, fluffier. About two or three more minutes and it's smelling so good. This is me waiting impatiently because it's smelling too good in here. Few more minutes. <laughs> Just a few more minutes, I promise. All right, y'all, I'm gonna get these babies out. If I burn myself, for some reason, her oven, I burn it every time, every time I get in here. Ooh, oh, y'all, it smells so good. Okay, I'm gonna bring these over here. Mm. I'm gonna let y'all get a little gander here, just a minute. And I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the cheat, uh, yeah, the filling on here. Let me get y'all down where you can see again. Can't move it over too much. All right, Let's see if I can scoot this over without burning myself. I always do it. All right, I'm gonna get the cream cheese on here. Oh, y'all, that's smelling so good. We're just gonna frost these up while they are hot and bubbly. And then I'm gonna get one out. Ow! See, I just burnt myself. Ah! Uh. <laughs> y'all, y'all just don't know. David knows. Yeah, I burn myself all the time. I'm using it sparingly first because I want to make sure I got enough frosting because this is all the cream cheese I had left in the refrigerator. Pan's hot. Yeah, I'm using it just sparingly first. Y'all, they're ooey gooey. It is sinking down in there in them crevices and cracks. That's what I want. That's what I want. Of course, if you made your frosting a little more pourable, all you gotta do is just go through here and just pour them on top. That's all you gotta do. Take your measuring cup or something. Mix it up in a measuring cup so that way if you want it pourable, you just use your measuring cup and just drizzle it all over the top. But like I said, I like mine to be a little bit like sour cream consistency. Oh my goodness, y'all. They're golden brown. Y'all, these would smell immaculate with pumpkin spice and some maple flavoring. See, I just gave y'all some ideas. Is your mouth watering yet? Because I know mine is. I am a sucker for sweets, y'all. I cannot go without having. David is like borderline diabetic. I am the opposite. 
I have to have some sugar. I don't know what it's called. I think they told my mama one time it's called acidosis, acidotic, something like that. We have to keep our blood sugar up. <laughs> it's just, I, we're total opposites. So, I just have to kind of compromise sometimes where I can get both of us. Oh, I got plenty. I can go back and slather a whole lot more of this cream cheese filling on here. Oh yeah, I got plenty. So, But what I'm gonna do is just for the sake of taste testing, I'll go back and put some more on them in a minute. Don't burn myself. I'm gonna get one of these out. And y'all, I gotta taste test this for y'all. Mm, 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 mm. Let's just see what this tastes like, y'all. Okay. I don't want to come off my thing. Let's see what this one tastes like. Oh, it's warm and gooey. And it's also hot. Woo! Okay, I can't even put it in my mouth yet. It's hot. <laughs> I may have to do that in a minute. Woo! I don't know. Let me see. Just for the sake of me knowing if they turned out right or not. Mmm. Y'all, yeah, that's good. <laughs> These are like slap your mama good. But don't slap your mama. These are good, y'all. Oh, when that cinnamon and that sugar kind of hardens up, it makes it like a candy, a hard candy. Yeah, and you'll be smacking on it. Oh, y'all, that's just good. That's just good. Uh. Mm. Y'all got to try this. I'm going to slather these babies up. I'm sorry, y'all. That's just good. <laughs> <laughs> They're finger licking good, okay? Mm. I'm gonna finish putting this cream cheese on here. Y'all got, I can't wait for dessert now. Y'all, this is why. Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna finish slathering these with the rest of this cream cheese frosting. Y'all gotta try these. If you do, let me know how they turned out. Let me know if you like them. If you don't like them like this, when I get back home, I will do a, a video on making cinnamon rolls from scratch my own dough everything mixer and i'll go through the whole process again y'all try these and see what you think y'all have a good day